Hey, Papa Boy here with a quick first look at the Sea Tug water bottle carrier. I got about 30 miles on this so far, so let's take a look and see what I like and don't like and whether or not you should buy this. I recommend that you get the smaller one. Um, it uses these clips to put them on, which um, are perfectly fine, but as I'll point out later, the straps on my Outdoor Vitals pack are about that wide, right there, if you can see that, about that wide. And this is this wide, which causes a lot of side-to-side -side play. Once again, no fault of this. Um, this has to be wide enough to fit a lot of packs, so I might have to modify that to keep it from sliding back and forth, as you'll see when I go through it uh, here in a little bit. This is the first location I had it at up on this bar deck up here. Um, it's not terrible, except that it's really close to my face and I had it pop me in the chin a couple of times. Uh, very easy to get to, that part's kind of nice. And plenty of room for my arm to swing back and forth, which I've found has been a problem with it lower. Kind of hits on the inside of my arm. Um, not a lot of miles on this yet, so a lot to, a lot to learn, I think, as far as what's best. Um, but you can see the one liter bottle, not too bad right there. It's a 700 mil, which is so much more comfortable, but you sacrifice uh, that much water. So it's kind of hard to decide if I would want to carry the smaller one or not. I'd have to fill it more often, which may be fine. If I'm doing a water carry, I can carry them on the side, stop and refill it. It's not a real big deal. Um, there's a lot. Lots to like about the smaller bottle. Just trying to decide if I want it up this high or not. And another problem I have is with it flopping back and forth quite a bit. No fault of the chicken tramper, I don't think. Because they almost all use that same clip and there's a lot of play in this real thin piece of webbing. So that's probably the best I'm gonna do. And it, I mean, it holds still. It's not like it flops this way. It's just a side to side issue. So. Quality of materials look fantastic, so I'm guessing that it's going to last a long, long time. Certainly, as long as I'll be hiking. Okay, let's take a look here. This is actually my chest strap right here. And that can move up and down. But I have a new bar tack that I had to put in. You can see right there where my thumb is, or maybe you can see <laughs> I uh, had that put in so I could find a, a range in between the two that I had back here. And you can see the bottom's out right in here. So I can't go any lower unless I let it hang off this, which is not very well supported. So I decided that's as far as I could go and adjust this up as much as possible. That right now is the best case scenario, but as you can see, if it's set that way, that'd be great, but the strap sits this way. So it sits at an angle. Not a real big deal. Not a fault of the water bottle holder at all. Um, I think the biggest limiting factor is how narrow the webbing is here. So the clips, which these are very common clips that are used on these, have a lot of play in them side to side. So that's been a challenge. Once again, I'm not a chicken tramper uh, is not to fault for that. I mean, it has to be that way to fit a lot of the straps that it needs to fit. So I think that's the best fit I've found so far. And you can see I'm going to run these straps for my umbrella. And I've tried that out, and that works out pretty good. They don't get in the way at all. So the combo is pretty good. This is an Outdoor Vitals 60-liter um, Satellite 60. Fantastic pack for sure. I'm really enjoying that. It's sub two pounds. It has a frame. The frame's kind of nice too for heavier loads. But yep, yeah, there you go. This is by far the best location. I, after putting the bar tack in, um, this holds the best. Uh, it's out of the way of my face, which I like. Pretty easy to put in and out. This is the one liter bottle. Um, still swings kind of underneath a little too far. My arm still runs into it. Not bad, just a little bit, but because the shape of these are curved back, that's kind of the direction 
this goes and I can only go so low on this strap on this side so that's the best I can do best location so far and probably the one I'll go with I'll show you what it looks like with the 700 mil it's very tempting just to go with that because it's smaller it's almost like it's not even there but you know you lose the you lose the volume, the water volume, so it's always a trade-off one way or another. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I also, as you can see, have my straps for um, my umbrella. For that side, for hands-free umbrella use for the sunnier parts of the Colorado Trail. So and I'll have my camera locked in over here. So maybe too much stuff up top. You know, I'm going to have to take them for a ride, see what I think. I've been... Hiking, I've probably put 20 or 30 miles on this so far, moving it around, and this is the best location. So it's all compromise. I mean, it's, they're never ever quite perfect. You just got to decide what's most important to you. Um, as long as this thing's not flopping around, driving me crazy, it's easy to get to. I just can't really reach back too well for the pockets back here. They're hard for me to get to. I know a lot of people, that's a piece of cake. Not for me. So... Um, this is what I've decided to do. Hopefully that'll work out. All right, that wraps up this quick video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get future videos like this. And we'll talk to you soon.